How to use fenugreek seeds. Fenugreek or methi seeds long used in India and other areas for health benefits have spread across the world as alternative medicine. Unfortunately, they also come with a bitter, burnt sugar taste, so you may want to toast them first over the stove to mellow the flavor. The seeds are often steeped in boiling water to flavor tea or crushed and used as seasoning in many foods, including curry. 1. Cooking fenugreek seeds. Soak the seeds overnight in water. Soaking the seeds before use is optional, but it can tone down that burnt taste you may find revolting. It's very easy to do, since all you need is a container of water. Let the seeds sit in the water overnight and when you roll out of bed in the morning, dry them. Some people choose to drink the soaking water. If you're willing to brave the flavor for the alleged health benefits, including reducing digestive problems and inflammation, feel free to put that water to use, too. Heat a pan over medium heat until it is warm. A regular frying pan is all you need to toast the seeds. Set your pan on your stove and kick up a medium heat. The seeds burn quickly, so don't turn it up too high. After a minute or two, the pan should be warmed and ready to go. Add the seeds to the pan. You don't even need oil for frying. Simply pour in dry seeds. Fill the pan with enough of them so they spread out on the bottom. Make sure they form a smooth layer so all of them get to drink up the heat that grows them nice and toasty. Stir the seeds to prevent them from charring. Keep the seeds moving along. No idling shall be allowed in the communal stovetop whirlpool. Let your wooden spoon be the guide that keeps the young seeds moving along. It'll prevent them from burning. Roast the seeds until their color deepens. After a few minutes, the seeds will turn an evened out shade of dark brown. Remove them as soon as they turn out to be the seeds you hope they become. Lighter roasting takes away some of the bitterness. Leaving the seeds in too long causes them to become bitter. Lighter seeds are often used for subsies and dolls in Indian cooking. Darker seeds can be used in pickle marsalas. Crush the seeds into a powdered spice. While the seeds are used whole by plenty of people, they are also crushed and mixed with other spices, including in some garam masala recipes. Both toasted and untoasted seeds can be used, although toasted seeds have left overall flavor left in their little bodies. You'll need a mortar and pestle or a coffee grinder for mashing them coarsely into powder. <laughs> 